It's time now for the Peter Chell 11 a.m. news report for this Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, May 21st, 2015. Good morning and afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. Your top news headlines at 11 a.m. here on this Thursday morning, going into Thursday afternoon here. Top story is. That is the stark observation about ISIS fighters in Palmyra from a 26 year old resident there. To tell the terrorist group Swift to start to take over yet another city, which is Palmyra, Syria, and the request to brutally expand its caliphate. And a long time Clinton cabinet reportedly advised then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton two days after the Benghazi 2012 terror attack that an Al Qaeda tied group that planned the deadly assault and used a protest as a cover despite the warning. In Washington, a pizza quest with the DNA of Darren Wint was what led investigators to issue a warrant for his arrest and connected with it last week's quadruple homicide in Austin of a Washington mansion. Lumber liquidators and battle and hardwood foreign retail said Thursday that CEO Robert Lynch and inspector resigned following weeks of struggles stemming from safety concerns related to its products. In the Apple Coast owner Jim Mercer among the believers of the NFL in Los Angeles as at the conclusion of Wednesday's NFL annual owners meeting in San Francisco. Thursday, Curitas and NFL's return to L.A. China said Thursday that it is time to keep watch over airspace and seas surrounding artificial islands that created in the disputed waters of the South China Sea following a reported exchange in which its Navy warned off the U.S. And London, Prime Minister David Cameron said on Thursday restricting the European Union migrant access to Britain's welfare system was a red line and then negotiated with a block ahead of an EU summit he wants to use to launch informal talks on an issue. Santa Barbara cleanup chain labored on Thursday for a third day to remove patches from a crude petroleum that stained a California beach and fell offshore waters from a pipeline rupture that may rank to the biggest oil spill to hit the Santa Barbara coast. Exits and home sales unexpectedly fell in April on low housing suppliers and Higher prices after reaching an 18 month high the previous month. Washington, the number of Americans filing new claims for unemployment benefits rose slightly more than expected last week, but the underlying trend continues to suggest the labor market was tightening. In New York, U.S. stocks edged higher in early trading. Energy stocks rose more than the rest of the market as the price of oil climbed. New York, growth in the U.S. manufacturing sector slowed for a second straight month during May, with new orders increasing at the slowest pace since January 2014, according to an industry reported release on Thursday. U.S. stocks. A look at the stock market report here. The Dow closed 18,286.50, up $1.10. SP Farmer 2134 up 4 and And Nasdaq 5,090.28, up One morning in July 2011, while exploding in Badlands near the western slope of Lake Turkana in Kenya, a team of archaeologists took around to remain the big discovery about early human technology. African American women can be at risk of heart disease even though they don't have metabolic syndrome. A study finds that's a problem because the current thinking is metabolic syndrome, defined it as high triglycerides, bad cholesterol. Abdominal fat and high blood pressure. Take a look at Fort Sierra at 11.03 on this Thursday morning, going into Thursday afternoon. The Boston Red Sox will be taking on the Texas Rangers in a finale of a three game series at Fenway Park. Game time, 7 10 p.m. Darryl Reeves may have played for the Patriots last season before returning to New York Jets, but the cornerback isn't exactly defending his New England teammates in the wake of the plate gate. A New Jersey judge will dismiss domestic violence charges against Ray Rast after the former Baltimore Ravens running back completed his pre-trial intervention program. Peter Chell News on 11.04. Time now for a Trevor Porter on this. Thursday morning, going into Thursday afternoon, and it is time now for a travel report here. And smooth sailing in the highways of Providence, right out here in the vicinity. And Southeast Expressway on the northbound side, it's slow from Quincy all the way out to 3A in Dorchester. 
Sub Fisher Express winner in the sub and side it is slow for mass have all the way out to Dorchester here. 120 on the non off and side it is slow from route one A and route one and over to route 1019 and westward. Route 9, we got an accident in Wellesley, near Route 120, so expect a few delays here. Route 2 and an eighth fence, I'd also run Fresh Pond Parkway. On the mass pack, we have slow traffic from Austin Burn Tolls to perform the Prue Tunnel, doing an accident in the mass pack in the east side near Fenway Park, so expect a few delays around that area here. 93 and then off fan side, it's a little slow. Before Route 120 and Redding here, 93 and South Bend side. So from Assembly Square in Somerville to the Zaken Bridge due to some road work. Before the Tiffany Hill Tunnel after the Zaken Bridge in Boston here, 185 and the North Bend side. It is slow from Tootsbury all the way out to 93 and Andover. So expect some delays here. On webs to Mass Pike 2, 29395 Auburn and 185 in Westford a little slow here. Up in New Hampshire in Merrimack. Ever turn back in the north bound side a little slow through the Litchfield Merrimack section here due to some road work in that area here. On the north band side, New Hampshire turn back route 95 in the north band side a little slow around route 101 in Hampton, so expect some delays here. And take a look at MBTA alerts here on this. Still on SL4 experience and model days due to traffic. Commuter rail. Haverhill line train 210, 905 a.m. from Haverhill. Delayed today, 30 to 40 minutes due to signal problems. And on the ferries, alone good. Peter Chell News on 1106 on this Thursday morning, going into Thursday afternoon. And then it's time now for our weather report here on this Thursday morning in, going into Thursday afternoon. Day one today, tonight. How's the weather not expected the time? And Day 2 for 7, Friday for Wednesday, Friday night into Saturday morning. Frost and freeze headlines will be needed for interior southern New England here. Alright, 7 day forecast of goals like this here. Friday day, most of the sky is about 68 degrees. Light southwest wind becoming 7 and 6 to 11 miles by in the afternoon. For the night, a chance of rain mainly after 11 p.m. Increased clouds will lower on 45 degrees. South will about 5 to 9 miles becoming light after midnight. Chance of precipitation is 40%. New prism amounts between a tenth quarter and an inch possible. For Friday, a chance of showers with thunderstorms also possible after 2 p.m. Pot sand skies about 72 degrees. Light north wind coming in west around 6 to 11 miles per hour in the morning. Chance of precipitation is 50%. New rainfall months are less than 10 minutes. Checks of how it's possible in thunderstorms. Friday, most clear skies low about 37 degrees. Northwest wind about 6 to 10 miles an hour here. For Saturday, sun and most clear skies about 6 to 6 low about 43 degrees. West wind about 9 miles an hour here. For Sunday, sun and podcast skies about 76 to about 53 degrees. But Memorial Day, on Monday, part of the same skies with 176 degrees. Monday night, chance of showers. Most skies are about 56 degrees. Chance of precipitation 30%. For Tuesday, chance of showers. Most skies are about 67 and about 62 degrees. Chance of precipitation 30%. And for Wednesday, chance of showers. Mostly skies are 182 degrees. Chance of precipitation 30%. Not temperature at 11 a.m. 63 degrees of fair skies. And that's me at for the Peter Chell 11 a.m. news report on this May 21st, 2015 on a... Thursday, Thursday afternoon, people say have a good day, what a good day, do you hear?